Okay, now this setup is placing the ankle into the the angle in which we got injured, right? So as you can see, this is the sensitive range where the foot rolled. So we have the wedge here and the pales rails is the exact same. We just have the foot angled into the range that it got in, uh, injured. Reason being is because now all the musculature is at length. So now we're training that musculature to contract when at length, AKA when going into that rolled ankle. So pushing down through here, big toe can't come up as just like the last routine. So then that's my pelvis contraction for about eight to 12 seconds. Then I'm going to lift the pinky side up for eight to 12 seconds, driving that big toe down, really trying to pull that arch down. And I'm lifting this part of the joint space to close it and engaging significantly in all of this musculature here. All of this stuff, this is called the fibula lars, longest musculature, formerly known as the peroneals. So again, this angle is to push down, then pull up for your pelvis rails training the musculature to be strong when it's going into a rolled ankle position.